Welcome back to our YouTube channel. In today's video, we dive deep into the 2024 updates of the Starship by SpaceX. SpaceX came to the end of a historic year in 2023. There have been two Starship launches, five Falcon Heavy launches, 100 Falcon 9 launches, three of which included crew members, and more than 5,000 Starlink satellites that are currently in service. All of this, though, is really a hint of far greater things to come for SpaceX. Things really start to get interesting about 2024. The Starship is undoubtedly going to be the year's largest spaceflight news story. In 2023, SpaceX successfully launched Starship twice, the largest, most potent, and most technologically sophisticated rocket ever made. Both times, we witnessed the rocket burst in midair before it could finish a full mission profile, which was amazing but also perplexing for many people because SpaceX has declared these flights successful even though all of their rockets blew up. It's understandable that the phrase rapid unscheduled disassembly would seem incongruous to any sort of success to the uninitiated eye. It is therefore crucial to understand the true goals that SpaceX set out to achieve during these test missions. SpaceX attempted to launch Starship for the first time on April 20th, 2023, a holy day known as 420. No one has ever discharged anywhere near this much energy from a single rocket before. Thus, the main objective is to get the thing into the air without blowing it up on the launch pad. Consider the Saturn V, an enormous rocket as well. Although it carried the Apollo program to the moon, this vehicle lacked even half of Starship's power. No one knew what would happen on launch day when SpaceX went full send. But we learned a lot on that first test which was the only way to find out. In other words, yes, Starship did punch a huge hole in the Earth before takeoff. And yes, it was actively on fire and exploding the entire time it was climbing. In the end, though, it did go completely out of control and spin around in the air for nearly a minute before accidentally blowing up. Nevertheless, these are all teaching moments and the outcomes of Starship Test No. 2 on November 18th, when none of those identical issues recurred, provide evidence of that learning. We discovered a whole new set of failures instead. Achieving stage separation was the main objective of this test. This signifies the top stage ship's release from the booster and launch into space, a feat that was accomplished pretty magnificently. The use of hot staging in orbital rocketry is not new. Although it hasn't been done on a rocket of this size before, at least not successfully, it was utilized by NASA and the Soviet Union back in the 1960s, and the move was expertly executed by Starship, enabling space travel and a smooth flight of the upper stage well above the Kármán line. Let's go back to our educational experiences. In order to send the rocket back toward the Gulf of Mexico, Starship's booster tried a flip maneuver and a boost back burn immediately after the stage separation. SpaceX has some experience with this kind of landing technique because it is the same one that the Falcon 9 rocket utilizes. However, this is entirely different ballpark given the massive size disparity between a Falcon 9 and an extremely hefty Starship booster. Even though the booster burst in flight, SpaceX was able to collect a significant amount of data that they will undoubtedly utilize to grow and learn. Subsequently, it goes without saying that although our ship made it to space, its stay was brief. Originally scheduled to be a 90-minute coast around the globe, the mission was terminated after four minutes of acceleration and a loud boom. How did the ship end up then? In any case, we're not quite sure. There has never before been an attempt to launch something even quite that big into orbit. Despite the size of the shuttle, the most of it could have been contained in a starship's cargo bay. Thus, SpaceX once more has data that they may utilize to grow and learn from their mistakes in the future. The problem is that you can only venture an informed guess as to what will happen when you try something that has never been attempted before. Trying is the only way to know anything for sure. 
Certain items will function as you had expected, while others won't. What does this signify, then, for Starship's prospects in 2024? More studying and testing will, of course, result in greater achievement. But along the road, failure is inevitable. Now it's only a matter of reducing the negative and increasing the positive. In the first quarter of 2024, Starship will launch once more. That's a prudent wager. All of the flight gear is built. The last details are needed. Based on the experience from November 18th, it is likely that changes and revisions may need to be done. The launch pad was not destroyed during the second Starship launch, which is really excellent news. Actually, everything went according to plan when the new flame diverter system was put in place after the 420 cratering incident. This time, there won't be a need for extensive ground system renovations, which allows SpaceX to start reducing the intervals between Starship missions. Flight 1 and Flight 2 took seven months apart, and Flight 3 might arrive as soon as two months from now. The fourth flight might arrive as soon as two weeks from then. The year 2024 will see the Starship program evolve at a rapid pace. In order to make this rocket a feasible launch vehicle for their upcoming Starlink satellite generation, SpaceX will exert all of their effort in this regard. It's going to get really intriguing again when they figure out how to make Starship a completely reusable super-heavy rocket at the same time.